um, topic going to be about stress. So I'd like to also mention that they are very close. Okay, and um, sometimes it's very difficult to dissociate them, and they go hand in hand. So sometimes they have to go together. Um, like if you pronounce or mis uh, pronounce the uh, mis stress the word, it will go wrong with the intonation too. Okay, and um, intonation is also about how we say things rather than what we say, because what we say is about tone, word, the word level, and the way we voice, uh, the way the voice rises and falls when we speaking, when we are speaking. In other words, the uh, um, intonation is like the music of the language. Within a syllable, I don't know. Flat one, three might be the rising, and one might be the. <coughs> and one exactly. is the lower. Exactly. Two means just about to rise, and then three is the highest uh, um, tone, and then the the uh, one will be the falling. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the statements, for your vocabulary, it's gonna be, for example, you need another meeting. Oh, sorry. You need another meeting. 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 Just like you need, you need another meeting. Meeting. Sorry. Okay. Number two. Yes. No question. It's very obvious and very easy for us. As uh, just two, two and three. Uh huh. And then you need another meeting. The same, the same sentence. It can change the meaning. You need another meeting. It means it's ended or it's finished or it's just a statement. 
statement. But for the second one, yes, no question, you need another meaning, boss? You need another one? No, I don't think so. And for the third one, it's um, non-final utterance. For example, when we list out something in the list, your like shopping list or like another agenda in your meeting, it's gonna be two, three, two. So you need another meeting and a report or in a report. It's gonna be just just about to fall, but not that low, something like that. So it, it means it, it doesn't finish with another meeting, but in a report. Something like a question. Mm -hmm. And the last one is gonna be WH question. The word WH question itself means it's a question. So it doesn't have to be the, the rising uh, intonation at the end. Instead, the WH question itself, it means it's a question. So it can be two, three, and one, which means the regular one, and then the high, and then the fall. So do you, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Not what do you need? No. Because the WH is the one that signifies it. This is the question. Okay, I think I will pass on to um, Arida. Is that right? Okay. Yes, from Bali, Indonesia, uh, I would like to uh, you to uh, make sure that uh, Bali, Indonesia, I can you read uh, the statement together? The first one, the first one is uh, that wants to change his car. 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 Here, 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 here. Ah, our the few is question. What country do you come from? Come from, come from, come from. What country do you you come from? Yes. Question in question ten. Number. One, she isn't she isn't she isn't she isn't she isn't she isn't she I'm not sure, but I always use rising. Yeah, I always I always use rising. I don't know. Question check always use. Yeah, question check. It should be rising, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, not falling, I guess. Only oh, this one is rising. What? Uh, uh, sorry. Excuse you you me. Excuse me. Your presentation, this one is rising. Ah. It's different from Why your presentation. It's different from that one. Maybe something wrong? Because you, did, did you send the old version to me? Maybe. But this one is rising. Question time. I follow this one. Maybe okay. your, your, your topic wrong or something. Or oh, like you do the, the first slide. <laughs> okay, but that, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But this one is rising. Okay. This one is correct. <laughs> How nice of you. Explanation. How nice of you. It's just a call question. There's no question. Do you like your new teacher? Rest information in my speaker to continue talking. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay.
Yeah. Have you finished already? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This. Shell uncertainty and requirement. Checking out problem. And rice fall intonation. In the sentence, we have rice and fall intonation. In one sentence. Excuse uh, me. May I may yes. I interrupt again? I think, I think the first one is already co is is correct, correct. But the the purpose of using question tags depends on the purpose. Yeah. Yes, yeah. because can, can if, if if the if the if if it has the falling tone, it means it means it you means don't uh, you don't want the answer. But if you're but if you're yeah. using the rising intonation, for example, she says and what? She says and you can. Okay. I feel the test because she's she's very beautiful, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Isn't she? Which means it's finished. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't want any. Yes. I for confirmation or like. Mm -hmm. If it's rising, it means it's fixed. You can go answers, back to, yes. to this slide again. Okay. So, the listeners should be, uh, should, uh, should bear in mind that what is correct speaking should be the teacher. Yes. 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 What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can okay. we go on? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry for interrupts. Yes, Thank you. For uh, rise and fall intonation, uh, in the one sentence we have rise and fall intonation together. For example, we together. Uh, Are you having soup, having soup or salad? Or salad? Soup or salad? Soup will be a little higher. Or salad will be more. Are you having soup or salad? Rice. Speak German. 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 Intonation fall on the last line to show that the list is finished. For example, we've got apple, pear, banana, bananas, and oranges. Apple, pears, bananas, and oranges. The sweater comes in blue, white, white, pink, and black. Indicates reservation. 